anymore. There's my engines. I need those engines. Hello everyone, I am Matt Zuvo and I am playing something a bit different today, I am playing Hex Terminate. This is a top-down RTS sci-fi fleet building game. It actually is quite quite good, I'm surprised at how good this game actually is. It's good fun, I'm enjoying it. Uh, I've tried playing it on easy, just to get an idea of it. i tried playing it on hardcore as you can see, and um, yeah, hardcore is no joke. So, we are obviously going to go hardcore. We are going to call ourselves... Mr. Sir. So why not? Why not? Ship name. Our ship is going to be called the Bringer of Fish Fingers. Yes. Matt, Mr. Sir is commanding a great ship, the Bringer of Fish Fingers. Absolutely. But I'm going to turn tips off because obviously I have played the game. I do know what I'm doing. Roughly. Sort of. Um, and I found out very quickly that, uh, yeah, uh, that, yeah, the, mm, the enemies are no joke in this game. Right, let's go play the waiting game. Uh, so it says easy, it will not be easy. <laughs> On hardcore, it will not be easy. So the premise of this game is obviously space, take over the world, take, take over the world, Jesus Christ, that's a bit mediocre. Let's take over the galaxy and um, d don't die. Oh, repair, repair, repair. Come on. There we go. So basically, what you want to do is obviously keep your ships alive, keep your fleet alive. But you get, you get allied fleets that come by every now and then. So, in time, fleets will like. Sort themselves out. That, that, that your your empire will make more fleets that will help you. Well, I'll try their best to help you anyway. But I'm gonna vacate this area. Let my allies deal with that because he's screwing me up. There you go. Second here, a bit more damage. And he's starting shooting me again. Yeah, he's dead. If it gets too hairy. I'll just leave. But I think I'll be alright. So far, so good. Uh, this is going to start causing problem. Ooh. Out range, out range. Got a feeling those two are going to mess up my guys. So these ships here, they're unaligned. They, um, they were part of once, the Sawyers, they were once part of the Empire, but have, uh, have died, basically. Um, well, not died, but they've just got a really terrible equipment that we had from ages and eons ago. So, their ships aren't the best. Ooh, I don't want to lose my engines. I need those engines. Oh, I've lost a ship. Wait, time to bug out. Because if I die, that's it. I'm dead. That's it, we're escaping. Escape! And that's basically the premise of the game. Now, as you can see here, I've got this like blue triangle. That's an allied fleet. Um, immediately, they're much more powerful than me. And obviously, the red is an enemy fleet. Well, a pirate fleet, as I say. So I'm going to enter this sector. Because on Hardcore, I found out you do not want to go at areas alone if you've only got these kind of ships. Uh, obviously, the my allies here have got like battleships like this, for example. It's a level 1 battleship. I can have, have that later. I can't have that now. I just don't have the money for it. But if we take this sector, I get money, and I can use that money to get ships. So I can stay with this fleet and just see how it goes. Fly down here. Support the fleet that's down here. Where are they? There they are. Those are getting wrecked. They're not designed to fight battleships. We're gonna head this way. It's actually really easy control. Ooh, the free torpedoes there. Don't like that. Oh, 
I'm taking some serious damage. So it's other fleet I don't really need to worry about because they can do their own thing. Um, but obviously I don't want them to die because they have a lot more firepower than me at the moment. But once I start getting battle cruisers and level 3 battleships and all that kind of thing, I'll definitely be more of a threat. Just got to, as long as you take out the bridge, which is like this green glowing thing at the back. If you take out the bridge, then the ship gets destroyed because obviously they've lost their leadership. As you can see, I've got the 200 RU for the efforts, so I just press escape, jump. Me and my, my fleet only, only my fleet will leave. The other fleet will then do their own thing. So as you can see, this one fleet, there's two fleets there. So one fleet's heading north, this fleet's heading south. I'm going to join this fleet up here. But before I do that, I'm going to go to perks, and I am going to see if I can get uh, a perk. Because as you, so you, get, you get perk points as you do levels. And I'm basically wanting to upgrade this as best. I just want to get through all of this as possible. Uh, the one that I really like to go for first is Reclaim Sectors, followed by Shared Glory. So Reclaim Sectors means um, when when a sector gets attacked, we get at least a, a, we get a regional fleet, which is really weak, but it's better than absolutely nothing. Also, this one here, gain RU from cap sectors captured by allied fleets. So these fleets here, if this if I didn't help this guy and he took this area. I would not get any of the resource units that are up here to buy fleet, to buy ships. I won't get any. I would only get it if I'm involved in battle. But with this means if they, so say I've got one that's down here taking this one, and one all the way up here, and I don't have enough time to get over there, then if he takes that one, then I'll still get the points for it. For example, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get the reclaimed sectors and see if we can win this battle as well. Right, let us fly. I am the blinger of fish fingers. You'll be bowing down to my power. So obviously these guys are really weak, really, really bad. But there are stronger enemies out there when you start fighting marauders and pirates. And uh, eventually, oh god no, that's one away. When you start fighting uh, pirates and start oh, engage them, damn it. Uh, Marauders and the other empire, because there's at least one more empire over here. Uh, I've never seen more than one, so I think it's just the one other empire. Oh god, this guy is lighting me up! Oh no, I've lost the guy. I've lost the guy. After this battle, I am going to have to see if I can upgrade my ship. So the good thing about this game is you can actually change your ship design. You can make it look different. Come on, get him. Oh no, not where I want to be. Definitely not. Uh, pairing. So you get these things up here that I definitely do more for your ship. Obviously, it uses energy, which obviously you need to fire weapons, get your shields back when you eventually need it. I am in the thick of it now. So in the early game, you definitely want to be um, attacking these neutral fleets because they're weaker. You get resources out of them, you get your fleets, uh, you can get your perks, and you can fight off the enemy, uh, the enemy fleets. That's what I'm going to try and do. So I'm just going to play this for a bit, maybe 20 minutes, 10, 20 minutes, and then we'll just progress from there. Right, I have enough now to buy a ship, so I could, if I wanted to. Get another ironclad, but I'm thinking about getting a battle cruiser because that is definitely much better. Uh, so they all have their own damage per second, they have their own um, cost, as you can see, the defense weapons and all that kind of thing. So as you see, this one here has better artillery but light armor. Uh, that one there only has auto cannons, medium armor, and repairs itself. This one does not repair itself. Uh, and then this one here, obviously, heavy armor 
it repairs itself and has the most damage. So actually, the Ironclad is the best out of all three of these. Like, if you want these, get the Ironclad. The Ironclad definitely is the best, but obviously he's a bit more slower because he is a larger ship. A larger, heavier, bulkier ship. So you've got your battle cruisers, your battleships, and then you get your level, you get tier one um, of the equivalent. So you get your tier one Lancer, you get your Wyvern battle cruiser, and so on. And you get your tier, uh, you get your, oh sorry, those are tier twos. And you get your tier threes, which are these ones here. And I'll see the uh, class battleship down here. Ooh, that's annoying. But I am just going to get my Ironclad. Where are you? Where are you? There you are. Gotcha. I don't have enough of that one, that's a shame. So I want to head down here, help this fleet. I think he's helping too. Okay. you got to read these messages up here, because sometimes you get an enemy battle cruiser or something, or battleship, and there's one battleship that's just impossible to destroy. I've had three fleets go out with battleships, and it just does nothing. Okay, so there's a waveform collapse of the uh, fleets. Where are you? Oh, so as you can see, you've got a radar down here. That's how you know where they are. Obviously, blue's friendly, red's enemy. A bit more north. Oh, north in space, I guess. That's friendly. That's not out of range. Okay, there's another fleet behind us. I'll go behind. They'll, they'll bounce to find off. In fact, no he won't, no he won't, no he won't, that can be straight forwards me, I don't want to deal with that. Out of range, just out of range, right, let's go. So now we've got support from our fleet, we might be able to survive this and keep our fleets alive, hopefully, because I need ships to be able to do stuff. Come on, die, die! There you go. I don't think I've done any damage yet, but I will just repair anyway, why not? Don't lose anything off the energy, which I'm not using anyway. Right. Oh, I didn't upgrade my ship. Oh well. Okay, I'm getting a beating now. Those auto cannons are actually quite good. I mean, close range, they really are. There you go, just like that. Now I can get another ship, requisition that. I've now got three or three. Obviously the perks there can help uh, upgrade how many. So, where is it? Is it this one? No. So yeah, this one here upgrades how many ships you can have. So you can have only three at the moment, then you get four. And five is the max, and then you can get tier two ships that you can buy, get uh, buy, and you get tier three ships which you can buy. Um, also, you want to get this pretty soon. Shared glory there. Need that bad boy. So I get more requisition per go go. Right. I'm gonna head back up here, and I'm gonna show you what this does. So I'm gonna enter this sector here. You see this? This is just like a space station dock. If I if I land here, then I can. Uh, dock with it, and I can. Uh, I've cap you capture certain equipment, and then obviously the other rarities. So purple being uh, like an epic, that gold being a legendary, green being uncommon, and then you got common, which is the white. So I am just going. So I've got some better engines. So I'm take these off because they're common, and I can put that one there, that one there, and that one there. Okay, and then I've got some regenerative armor, which is actually not too bad. I do like my regenerative armor, because that comes back in its own. Uh, I'm going to leave this 400mm armor, because obviously I can repair myself with the thing I have. So that's just protecting my um, ship, as it were. Shields, I don't need a shield. Uh, weapons, I might get rid of these, maybe maybe the one in the front, depending on what I've got. Yeah, I'm going to take the, that out of the front, put the auto cannon there. Uh, yeah, that'll be alright for now. Okay, so my power, uh, 130, so yeah, I want to get the Kairos Hyperion out. There we go. 
Uh, I need to keep that, I need to keep that. Bridge. So I've got in increased health for all fleet ships that uh, deal 15% damage. That's only my ships that are in my fleet do that much more damage, I believe. Unless that's universal across the Empire, but I can't imagine that would be true. <coughs> okay, so then that's my ship upgraded. I've added more hexagons, I've added everything. And obviously, as time goes on, this gets this building area gets bigger. So you can start with a little little terrible cruiser kind of thing, and then you get to a massive whole key battleship. But unfortunately, your, your, your fleets do not do any, anything different, unless you get a tier 2 and tier 3 upgrades, but that's further down the line. For now, I just need to get my money, get going, and I'm going to go straight here. Because you get an extra 700, so I'll get 900, I'll get, I'll get 900, because I get 200 for taking it. Sorry, no, I want to get 700, not forwards. So you get 200 for taking it, and then you get another 500 bonus, basically, because it's an objective, shall we say. So as you see now, I have different weapons, different everything, and I am gonna kick this guy's butt. There it goes. Okay, right. Come on, come on. So our fleet's down here, heading down towards them, which is nice because we just did with two on our own, which is a bit dangerous. It's a friendly battle cruiser. Yeah, that deal with. Uh, see if we can flank around these guys so we can get behind them. Stay out of the bridge, as I said. They're dead, so. Come at me, come at me, come at me. Right, let's get them back there. Yep, he's dead. Yep, he's dead. Okay. Get his engine, he won't be able to move. I get his power, he won't be able to fire, and then I can go for the bridge. Wipe him out. Go for the engine, then power is not a bad idea, because obviously if you can move, then you, you know, you'll, you'll get hit less. It's actually quite intelligent. So there we go, got 700. Jump to hyperspace. Right. I'm going to end this video here. I'm going to go to the main menu. And I will... So that I've missed a sir. That's us. Bringer of fish fingers. So that's us. I'm going to end this video here, like I said. I hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know if you want to see more. Make sure you do comment, like, and subscribe. As I said, we are playing this on hardcore. So obviously, it's going to be quite difficult. Uh, so on hard... basically, the difficulties that I'll show you. So... Oh, phalanx. So, easy. Pure ships receive 30 less damage than normal. The player ship respawns if it is destroyed and no items are lost. This is the recommended setting for players unused unused to this uh, type of game. So, if you die, you can respawn. You don't lose any of your equipment that's on your ship. Um, and your fleets do more damage, so obviously they're a bit more powerful, which is easy. Uh, normal respawning is enabled, but you lo may lose any modules found since your last visit to an Imperial shipyard. So if you go out with the most valuable stuff and you blow up, you could lose it. No guarantee you'll lose it, but you could generally lose your equipment, which is obviously unfortunate. Hardcore. This mode disables respawning for the player and considerably increases the chance of high-end drops. Sectors can receive increased reinforcements from the very start. The true challenge of an Imperial captain is a merciless galaxy. So respawning is disabled. Uh, so if I die, I'm dead. Uh, permadeath. Uh, that's the end of the That's the end of this uh, playthrough. <laughs> uh, increases the chance of high-end drops. So obviously, you get your legendary and your rarer drops will be more uh, more likely to happen. But obviously, you'll need it in this situation. Um, but yeah, that's basically the different versions there. But anyway. Hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you do like, comment, and subscribe to see more of Hex Terminate. And there will be more Beer Walker as well tomorrow. So that'll be up. And I hope you guys enjoyed. Alright. Bye, guys.